Um, hey, this is a uh, my review puddle of mud. Come clean. This is the main one I've had. It's not really explicit. This is actually a case. The original album is actually clean. It's kind of lost its color. But you can tell if it the piss it all away song. If it has all X's, that means it's clean. But if it doesn't, that means it's explicit. But this ain't the one I'm worried about. I'm more focused on this one. The this is the one I got for Christmas. It's come clean, limited edition with bonus DVD. The CD's in my drive, which radio. Here's the bonus DVD. Sucks that it did not come with Drift and Die. <clears throat> but I'm gonna give you a review. This album's amazing. I would recommend a lot of you people buying this if you're an uh, alternative rock or grunge fan. But if you're not, then this ain't the record. But <clears throat> Fred Durst produced this record. This is how Puddle of Mud became really, really, really famous. And it's clean, as you can tell, kind of. <laughs> but um, mainly, these are these songs, the first six songs are the main ones I re mainly recommend. They're the opening track, Control, and Drift and Die, their second track. Those are their, actually, they were released as singles. And so was Blurry and She Hates Me. Out of My Head is probably my f favorite like B side of the record. It's, they mainly use, use it as an opening track to their shows. Nobody told me that was it was re previously recorded and as you can see it has a star beside it that means it was produced by uh, Fred Durst. It was additional production followed by Bring Me Down in Basement. But uh some of these songs bring back memories to my childhood. Um, <clears throat> Bring Me Down, Ever Change, Basement, Set and Piss It All Away. Those are kind of their lower songs. I mean, I like them, but Basement, it had, I like their singing in some ways. And I actually, my main purpose of that song, their, their bridge, the guitar riff. But sadly, I mean, this is the reason why I don't like the riff. It's because, I mean, they're singing right in the middle of it and you can barely hear it piss it all away it, it's weird because it just had it has an electric type of sound it has an electric type of sound and it uh and it's a fully acoustic song and said it just it's kind of weird when it's edited because it, it censors crack and there's one part that says emotionless slip into the and they censored out the word crack <laughs> and i'm thinking you know is it talking about you know the drugs or something or what um Mainly, this is a great record. I mean, I recommend. The bad thing about this, if you buy the explicit version of this one, it will come with two bonus tracks that will be named right here. Uh, one will be bra Abrasive and one would be uh, Control Acoustic. But uh, this and I don't know if it was because it was clean or if it was a certain type of release. But I did write online. I got this for Christmas. And it shows like... If it did come with uh, it did come with two bonus tracks, but it did not say on this one, so it kind of was a it was kind of and kind of wasn't a ripoff. <laughs> but I do kind of recommend you if you like puddle of mud or any grunge, 2001 type genre. This is a great record. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I will be putting more guitar uh, covers of any other bands I like. Their alternative. Especially Puddle Mud, Limp Biscuit, Lincoln Park. And thank you very much for watching.